Howdy there, fellas. I'm Peyton, your friendly neighborhood iPad user and quote-unquote expert. Wubba pow. Wubba pow. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yes, here is my iPad, which I will be using for demonstration purposes. Ooh. And to prove that I do, in fact, uh, use an iPad. So all these tips come straight from the heart. Today, I will be sharing with you a fun app that you can use with your iPad. And also, I wanted to tell you that on Wednesdays, I will be giving out fun iPad tips and tricks so that you can use it for the best of your creative abilities, and it can be a super helpful tool in all of your artistic endeavors. Additionally, if you have any questions or comments or concerns about your iPad, uh, maybe apps you want to use or you don't know how to use something, or if you're interested in getting started in digital art, which I do often, so I can give you a lot of tips on that. Uh, you can email me. My email is Peyton, P-E-Y-T-O-N, at storyarcark.org, which you can see on the screen. But yes, I am your iPad expert, so I will be here to give you some fun little things you can do with it, and today we're going to be going over the Post-it Note app, because I think it's fun and neat, and I really liked it, so... Well, here's what the app looks like when you open it up. You got all your little boards there, so then you can make a new note and you can write on it, or you can type on it, or draw on it. I wrote Andrew and typed, and I can't spell, but I typed anyway. So that was really fun, and I also enjoy that you can make your little notes. So it's basically anything you can do on a regular post note. There's lots of colors to choose from, and there's three or four different pen colors you can use, so lots of options. I was really excited about all the different colors that you get to do. So you can make multiple notes per board, uh, here's me making another note and then looking at all the color options because they made me really happy. Then I found out you can change the size of the post notes so you can make really little ones or you can make really big ones. And it all depends on what you're feeling and what kind of big idea or small idea you have and what you want to use your note for. So there's lots of options and you can play around with all of them. Then they make little groups so you can group notes together. There's different options for how you want them to be displayed. So. Really, it's all about how you want your notes to look, and then it also does a fun little thing where it'll tell you what it thinks you wrote. So if your handwriting's messy like mine, it'll be like random gibberish. I thought that was kind of funny. Then you can name your groups and you can sort them and organize them based on what ideas each thing is for. So if you're making a selection of notes for a drawing idea next to a selection of notes for an idea about a writing, you can still have them separated in little groups and be all organized. Here's me making another note, just to have another little fun thing. Here's me doodling a little self-portrait on a post-it note, just for you. So yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do with this app, and it's just basically having digital post-it notes, but I thought it was really handy. You can take notes during meetings, or have places to do a couple little doodles if that's what you're into. Lots of stuff. You can be really organized with it, and it's a lot of fun. Also, I can't draw hands, so... <laughs> Thank you for paying attention to this cute little demonstration, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week where we'll talk about another app. As always, you can reach out to me if you need anything. See ya!